I'm going to read to you an email titled Duping that I wrote on May 11, 2017. I said, I just took 12 milligrams of Invega for the delusions. I'm taking it because I'm a sexual abuse victim and no one validates it. They tell me I'm crazy. It's frustrating. When I, when I mentioned on Facebook that I increased my medication, my dad said, proud of you, very proud of you, love you. On the surface, that looks nice, but I get a sinking feeling in my stomach. It's very insincere. It's more what he doesn't say than what he does. It's really him taunting me. They say, trust your intuition about someone. He's trying to paint a phony picture of himself as an involved father and me as a crazy son. He thinks he's duping everyone, such as doctors like you. And the people he isn't duping don't care enough to help. They turn a blind eye. He doesn't love me. In fact, he doesn't even view me as a son. I'm just a pawn in his sick game. He was using me to hurt my mom, and he gets sexual pleasure from my mental suffering. He only stays in my life for his own sick amusement. Maybe I need to give the medicine time to numb my mind so I can run from the truth. And this is Dr. Garrett's reply on May 12, 2017. Andrew, I do not want to be in the position of arguing with any authority about what did or didn't happen to you. There is third party consensus that you were bullied. So far you have not been able to point to any corroborated evidence that you were sexually abused. You have a strong feeling that you were sexually abused, but this feeling rises and falls like the tide. Facts do rise and fall, facts do, do rise and fall, but feelings certainly do. Your feeling at times that your mother was involved in sexually abusing you years ago and she persists in a cover-up is contrary to your own deepest feelings about your mother. We will continue our work next Wednesday. In the meantime, I want to direct your attention to one aspect of the way your mind works when you are, gripping by, when you are gripped by strong emotions. In your email, you say it's more what he doesn't say than what he does. It's really him taunting me. It seems to me that you are saying the less evidence there is for something which he doesn't say, the more you believe it to be true. You feel taunted by uncertainty to an even greater certainty on your part. Uncertainty might be expected to lead to doubt, but in your mind it leads to the opposite, conviction. If I have the implication of your email right, you are saying that your mind is governed to a large degree by what you feel to be true rather than what can objectively be demonstrated to be true. This would not surprise me. The bullying has left an imprint on your mind with such a burden of painful memories and feelings to express that emotions have taken charge. Much is known in psychiatry and psychology about this way of emotional thinking. We will continue to discuss Dr. G. And this is Dr. Copland's email on May 12, 2017. I think it's sincere, Andrew.